see the world not as what it is but what it can be with this ideology we at enactus shivaji started our journey in the year 2015 today we are a team of 150 plus creative and motivated believers endeavoring towards creating an impact in the society through our innovative projects out of the 1.8 billion people that menstruate every month across the world millions of girls women transgender men and non binary people are unable to manage their menstrual cycle in a dignified and healthy way in india 23 million girls drop out of school every year when they start menstruating in urban areas where the percentage of women using sanitary pads goes up to only 52% The situation gets much worse in rural areas where this number is less than 20%. Recognizing the hardships faced by millions of women, Enactus Shivaji launched Project Sana in the year 2019 with the aim to uplift and educate underprivileged women along with providing them with an eco-friendly and sustainable solution for menstruation. We produced our very own reusable sanitary pads in the year 2019 that are 100% natural, sustainable and free of plastic. We provided these pads to underprivileged women by collaborating with NGOs and gynecologists. We sold our pads at much economical rates as compared to conventional plastic pads to reach as many women as possible. Since its inception, Project Sana has impacted over 1000 people and has successfully delivered sustainable reusable cotton pads to over 600 women in the year 2021 as part of its mission. Project Sana has substituted the use of around 43200 regular pads till now which would have contained 216 kg of plastic. Due to the pandemic When the world came to a standstill, Sana's spirits remained unwavering and we went on to conduct a multitude of webinars and interactive sessions with gynecologists and experts to impact as many women as possible. When the lockdown was lifted, we conducted various field visits, offline seminars and interactive sessions with menstruators at NGOs, schools and rural areas. During these sessions, we realized that menstrual awareness was a more significant problem after lockdown was lifted our team went through more than 10 surveys field visits 100 plus hours of research and analysis discovered that knowledge of menstruation remains limited to 21.68% among girls and many of them are restricted from going to school and taking part in physical activity limiting their growth in academic and social spheres 52% of girls are unaware of menstruation before attaining menarche the first menstrual cycle 54% of girls stated mother as the primary source of information for menstruation with this revelation we decided to scale our awareness campaign and address the issue of inadequate knowledge at its source by introducing our very own educational product the sana comic according to our projections a single comic would have around 7 to 8 pages and cost roughly 25 rupees to publish in addition the cost of the cover and binding for one comic would be rupees 5 bringing the total cost to rupees 30 we intend to print 100 copies of the same at a cumulative cost of rupees 3000 Keeping a profit margin of rupees 20, we plan to sell one comic at a price of rupees 50. The total revenue generated through our sales of 100 comics would be rupees 5000 with a predicted profit of rupees 2000. Our comic contains an engaging plot, appealing artwork and relatable characters with the goal of imparting knowledge to young menstruators and non-menstruators on the cusp of puberty. The world we live in today is undeniably digital and therefore we also aim to impact our target audience by launching our podcast series which should include several engaging sessions with gynecologists and experts to make our comic available to the masses we plan to collaborate with multiple brands that can provide us a platform to distribute the digital version of our comic 
Another revelation that our team made through research was about the irregular and ignorant disposal methods of menstrual waste. India generates around 9000 tons of menstrual waste every month. This material is generally disposed of alongside residential waste and unfortunately is sorted by bare-handed waste pickers, exposing them and the community at large to a variety of disease-causing microorganisms. To tackle this, Inactor Shivaji is working on the research and development of Sana Disposal System which will solve the problem of mismanagement of menstrual waste. Our mission is to transform the way menstruation is addressed by raising awareness and demolishing social stigmas and related taboos to create a positive impact on the lives of menstruators and the local community. Inactor Shivaji has always taken a step towards environment protection and introduced various ways to tackle the climate change and pollution increase. Considering this as an urgent issue which required our attention as early as possible, Inactor Shivaji introduced Project M, a conclusive effort of more than 50 plus students to solve the issue of aggressive stubble burning in Delhi, a national capital region. 3.3 trillion grams of plastic waste, 36.8 dollar economic loss, 1.67 million deaths. Death is just a number when in headlines. Suffering is often sensationalized to make speeches impactful. Greater the number, the more serious a problem is likely to look. But the people of India are not merely numbers, they are real. Them coughing their lungs out is real. People suffering from respiratory disorders are real. Families like yours, like mine, are also real. We, the students of Inactor Shivaji, have come up with one single innovative and sustainable solution. We use waste stubble to grow oyster mushrooms. These oyster mushrooms give birth to three distinct yet closely related vertebrates mycelium packaging, mushroom chips, and manure. To revolutionize the packaging industry, we introduced the world to mycelium. Mycelium is extracted from the root part of oyster mushrooms. The biodegradable, easily moldable, and fire and water resistant hyphae competes with age-old plastic and other packaging materials like styrofoam and thermocol. From cutlery to furniture items, Mycelium can be used to pack them all. From the farms of Sadarpur and Chaisa, our desi entrepreneurs not only help us with our raw materials, but also craft the perfect molds from the mycelium bricks. And this mycelium makes up the first vertical of Project M. Oil-free, potassium and vitamin D rich, baked mushroom chips with high fiber content and zero cholesterol not only wins the heart of our customers, but also competes neck to neck with fried and boring potato chips. With collaborations and joint programs, we target the health conscious community. The zero waste policy of our project M has opened the doors for the third phase, which is manure production. The manure is a result of decomposed mycelium packaging and leftover mushroom. It costs us nothing, but is worth everything. With the first mover advantage in the Indian subcontinent and a market drift towards sustainability supported by government policies, Project M looks ahead and aims to reduce environmental degradation supplemented by reduction in poverty. We impacted over 600 people and till now created 40 plus jobs in various sectors. The farmers, their families, self-help groups and every citizen breathing the air is celebrated as one of our beneficiaries. The cost structure for our three verticals, mycelium packaging is approximately 75%, mushroom chips would cater to 15% and our manure vertical will provide us with 10% of the revenue made. According to our estimations, on average, one ton of mushroom yield would require 250 kilograms of mushroom spawn, which gives us an approximate cost of rupees 25,000. Similarly, we need 7 kgs of stubble to grow 1 kg of mushrooms. On calculation, we would require 7 tons of stubble to grow 1 ton of mushrooms, 
which would cost us around rupees 35000 keeping in mind the necessary sanitation procedure a minimal miscellaneous cost would be added in our cost structure to produce the same amount that is 1 ton of mushrooms batch since we require 7 kg of stubble for making 1 kg of mushrooms and we have successfully produced 100 batches of the same in the past 2 months we have prevented burning of over 700 kg stubble and have successfully managed to reduce over 140 kg of fly ash and 1022 kg of carbon emission from polluting our atmosphere with these units We have managed to reduce over 10 kilograms of non-biodegradable packaging waste from the environment. For the production of our mushroom chips, we employed over 20 people from self-help groups and provided them with the necessary skill and expertise. Our project is a perfect blend of sustainable innovation and social upliftment. We at Inactus Shivaji believe that it's only these small steps that lead to a bigger change we strive to change a hope a chance a choice together as one we aspire to bring a change worth a million the, the choice, choice is ours, is ours.